Hey, yeah, well, I bet you didn't think you'd see another episode from me so soon after those four incredibly long ones on the uh, staggering stag, uh, scrappy stag. Uh, yeah, I tried flying it today, but uh, unfortunately there's a problem with the gearbox, so I'm having to replace that. So Maiden will be a couple of weeks. In the, me in the meantime... I've got some new foam, but it's new to me, still new in box, well, still untouched in box, but it's back from around, around, around about 2006, 2007 time. It's the Phase 3 EF16, which is basically a small F16 standoff scale uh, it is ducted fan and it comes with a ducted fan in it which is three blades and I've run it up and it sounds terrible it's it's a horrible sque screechy whine so I don't know I may I may replace that uh, it comes with a 45 uh, kV motor with a performance fan and a 30 amp speed controller which even in a small blip I found got rather hot so I think that's on its limit so I don't know I may replace it with something like a mm, looking online it seems like a 64 mil EDF would be the best replacement so looking inside this is not EPO it's EPS so it's going to be quite brittle so I'm going to have to Play this very carefully so it's a three channel model and it doesn't have any ailerons it's got uh, elevators which also do the aileron function so that what well, I cut the Americans come up with some weird names but basically it's a full flying surface uh, elevators which are independent so there's the rear tail nicely molded very smooth rear tail I'll just put them to one side for the moment as I take them out. This is the underpan. Which, uh, sorry, that's that's the rear. That's the front and it's got the, the characteristic lip underneath. And it nicely, because they know what EPS is like, it comes with little protector shields, which will stop that getting roughed up. And they come over a big sticker, but what I'll do is I'll laminate all this, all this base. And that will be lighter and, well, it'll be better than, than using a sticker, which will, which will almost certainly curl up. This is the performance prop. And it's, it is just basically a prop. It's not even a proper turbine sort of shape. Uh, it's an in runner measuring the actual blade area it's about 55 millimeters but the area here is about 62 60 62 so I think a 64 should fit in there's that KMS and uh, it comes with this very flexible tubing as the uh, thrust tube I may have to replace that as well this is the top of the uh, model, come with a latchable top for the battery. Yeah, got a little plywood bit at the front. Trying to do this on camera, really difficult. There we go. So it's a good shape. There's not too many dam damage over the years. It also comes with a a plastic protector for the nose which is great because that will protect that from damage it's very nicely molded but from and here are some brass inserts for which the stabilators or well whatever they call them will fit through 
like this. If I can get it again, one handed, very difficult. And the servo will go here on the inside to operate it. So you really won't see the servos from the outside. From what I hear, this bit here is too flexible. So you need to, a, there were, somebody was making some kits, you can't get them anymore, some uh, plywood pits to uh, stick to this to strengthen it up. And so that gives you not only the aileron, the elevator, but also the aileron, and it's got a little bit of anhedral, which is pretty scarf. So that would be interesting, flying with just those control surfaces. And the wings have no spar, no spar in the wings, and they just glue on like that. So I may add a bit of carbon in there just to uh, strengthen that up. Oh, literally working around the tripod. So they just fix in there. And the wings already come with this sort of plastic laminate over the top to smooth it out and strengthen them up. I don't know. I mean, two minds whether to add, that was the nose plastic falling off. I mean, two minds whether to add a little bit of carbon or something or just go with the, uh, the sticky. But what do you think? I think it's just going to look nice when built. Got a moulded rear nozzle. Gives you that shape. That might be worth doing a little bit of painting on that. That's the uh, canopy that's fallen off. I'm annoyed about that wrinkle there. I have to try and get rid get that out. The other wing, it comes with a pretty decent manuel. And they're recommending a 2100 three cell. But no me, I'll probably take it to a 64mm 4 cell unit and run it on something like an 1800 4 cell or maybe a 2200, don't know, it depends on what we can line up in there but yeah, seems to be a lot of good detail in the manual full colour, so you can see the servos that operate the uh, stabilators Blazers, I think so. And this is the sticker for the bottom of the fuselage. Again, I'll probably use my own laminate for that. A few bits of bobs for the control rods and along with some sticky pads. Nicely, there's a couple of mold, blow molded or vacuum molded bits with that's like the gun that you get on an F-16 and these are covers for the rear controls for the stabilator and a bunch of stickers which I probably won't use I don't like the color scheme they've given it I'll probably actually paint it in a more warlike color scheme <laughs> so there we go that's something to get ready for for summer when it comes yeah, it should be fun. Bye.